Welcome to all my lovely and dear people. Warm greetings from Georgia. Warm greetings from IAU. Warm greetings from Europe. I am Inga Harchilava, IAU Europe Head, Project Director, Country Director, IAU Georgia, IAU Board Member. Many thanks to all participants who follow IAU conferences and webinars. I am very glad that we are together again and we are waiting for news from young students. The vision of young people is very interesting and inspiring, really. All of them are really good today. They are our future. Special thanks to our founder, Mr. Piyush Pandit, for this opportunity. Million thanks, IAU Best Team. Yes, today is a very important day because today we have students from Romania, Croatia, and Georgia. Europe really is very active. Europe always is ready. After listening to the new vision of European teachers, it is time to listen to European young people and dedicate the IAU stage. This is a doubly important fact for me. Before we start the amazing conference, let's get to know IAU and our founder. International Internship University, IAU, is a leading virtual education system and global brand confederation, which is the most reliable and trust world and well reputed in development in with world progress. Globally, it is a trust name for quality training programs and is committed to providing better and virtual education to all the young learners of the globe. IAU is a metamorphosing the conventional education system by carrying down the additional cost and providing access to more than 1,000 class courses and internship to their uh, learners across the globe with the help of it is thousand class globe education. IAU has four, it is four excellent name. Women Entrepreneurs Council, International Students Development Council, International Youth Development Council, International Council of Educators. Wow, really wonderful. The main objective behind the councils is to provide support in every respect to the students, youth, women, entrepreneurs, and educators. In a short span of time, IAU has spread its wings in 195 continents in countries and six continents. Wow under the strong leadership of its visionary founder, Mr. Peyush Pandit Sir. A committed and inspiring social activist, a passionate education is from the last two decades, providing education to students from various social and cultural backgrounds. He has publicized the world education policy. One education, one foundation, one world. Really inspiring. The visionary Piyush Pandit had just one dream. No child should be deprived of education. He's working towards it day and night. He is safeguarding and promoting education and well being of learners at all times of life is commonable. The sky is the limit for your dedication and hard work. Thank you very much, sir, for everything. Thank you for uniting 
us under one umbrella and giving us the opportunity to communicate with the whole world, with the various projects, webinars, shows, conference, and more and more. As the leader of Europe, I try to give the countries of Europe a voice. Now I am looking forward to meeting our young people today. And now I think it is time to declare our conference open. I would like to invite the first guest from Georgia with great pleasure. She is really a very active and wonderful young. Many thanks to dear uh, invited today. Thank you so much, my dear. Welcome. Please introduce yourself and go ahead. Mariam, Ayayu, stage is yours today. Please. Welcome. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm Mariam Galashvili from Georgia. I'm an 18 year old student. And I want to thank Ayayu for inviting me today. And I think that this is a great opportunity to raise my voice and uh, introduce our country uh, to all over the world and uh, contribute to creating a better um, world for everyone. Uh, let me share my screen and I have um, prepared a presentation for you today. Uh, as we all know, there are 17 um, sustainable uh, development goals uh, made by UN, the United Nations. Uh, and um, I think that uh, they are very important because there are goals such as zero poverty, zero hunger, good education, good health and well being. And I think that all these are very important for us to create a better world. But I, th but I think that without one goal, which I will be talking about for the rest of the presentation, uh, it wouldn't be possible because all nations from all around the world need to unite and be partners in order to achieve all the other goals. And I think that uh, goal 17, uh, which means that uh, countries need to revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development is extremely important for us to uh, make our world better. We uh, cannot meet uh, global goals without working together. I think that inter international investments and support are needed to ensure innovative technological development, fair markets and uh, uh, fair trade for all the countries all around the world and for um, developing countries so particularly. And I think that we all need to be passionate, empathetic, supportive, inventive and above all cooperative in order to achieve those goals. Uh, as all the other goals, this goal 17, which means global partnership, has its targets. And the first target means that countries need to strengthen domestic resources mobilization, including through international support to developing countries in order to uh, raise the uh, domestic capacity for tax and uh, for other revenue collection. Uh, target two means that developed countries um, need to implement fully their official development assistance commitments, including uh, commitments by many developed countries to achieve a target of 0 0.7 of uh, Mari, gross next, national. Uh, one minute. Mari, next, uh, Can you see the slide. presentation? Yes. Please, next slide. We only see this slide, your presentation. Um, let me. Try to. Okay, the God did it. So she's here. Can you see the next one? Yes, yes. Thank you. And now, can you see? Yes, now see. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was talking about the target two of goal 17, which means that developed countries should achieve a target of 0 0.7 of commitments so of uh, gross national income for official um, development assistance 
for developing countries and they need to achieve a target of 0.15 to 0.20 of gross national income for official development assistance for least, least developed countries. And all ODA providers um, advise and suggest that uh, developing countries you know, should um, set a target of 0.2 of their gross national income for least developed countries in order to help them um, improve and uh, contribute to creating a better world. Uh, target number three means that all the countries, all the developed countries should mobilize additional financial resources for developing countries from multiple sources in order to help them. Uh, target four, four means that uh, developed um, countries should assist developing countries in attaining long-term debt sustainability through coordinated policies aimed at fostering debt relief, debt financing, debt restructuring, in order to help highly indebted poor countries reduce their debt distress. Target number five means that uh, developed countries um, are required to adopt and implement investment promotion regimes for these developed countries in order to give them more opportunities to develop and improve and help all countries um, contribute to achieving the global goals. Target number seven means that um, countries need to share their knowledge and uh, cooperate for uh, to access to science, technology, and innovation. And this is um, made particularly for North, South, 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 and triangular regional and international cooperation. Uh, target number seven means that developed countries are required to promote the development transfer, dissemination, and diffusion of environmentally sound technologies to developing countries. And in particular, it means that all less developed countries and developing countries should be able to uh, have access to information and communication technologies. Topic number seven means that uh, countries need to fully operationalize the technology bank and science, technology and innovation capacity building mechanism for least developed countries in order to give them opportunity to contribute to achieving the global goals all, the world, all around the world. Topic nine means that countries need to enhance international supports for implementing effective and targeted capacity building in developing countries and help them uh, develop their domestic situation and then contribute to all global goals and help the um, world uh, help make the world better place a better place uh, target number 10 uh, as known as target uh, a means that countries need to promote a universal, rules-based, open, non-discriminatory and equitable multilateral trading system under the World Trade Organization. And that needs to be observed so that local markets in domestic um, uh, countries uh, are able to share their uh, produce and uh, have a fair market and access to trade. Trade. Right. Please make slide because uh, 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 we... I'm sharing. I uh, let me share the screen again because I'm moving on yes, the other yeah. slides, but I think that it's not because visible your for you. Presentation is really very uh, wonderful, and we see only one slide. Mm -hmm. Let me move. To the slide which I was talking about. Um, yes. Sorry for the technical issue. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, 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 target number 11, as known as target B, means that countries need to significantly increase the exports of developing countries by 2030. And in order to uh, reach, reach this target, we all can participate in. And I will talk about it later on my presentation on how we can contribute as average citizens to achieving the global goals. 
target number uh, 12, uh, known as target number C, target C, means that uh, all countries are required to realize timely implementation of duty-free and quota-free market access on a lessing basis for all least developed countries made by uh, Doha uh, Development Agenda. Target number 13 means that countries, developed countries, need to enhance global macroeconomic stability, including through policy coordination and policy coherence. Target number 14 means that all countries all around the world are required to enhance policy coherence for sustainable development and achieving the global goals and sustainable development goals. Target number 15 means that all countries need to respect each country's policy space and a leadership to establish and implement policies. And I think that this is a very important target because without co cooperation and respect towards each other, we cannot unite as a world and create a better place. We all as countries and as ever citizens and individuals need to unite and respect each other in order to reach our goals. Uh, target number 16 means that countries need to enhance the global partnership for sustainable development, complemented by multi-stakeholder partnerships that mobilize and share knowledge, expertise, technology, and financial resources. Target number 17, uh, known as target H, uh, means that uh, countries, developed countries, need to encourage and promote effective public public-private and civil society partnerships in order to give them opportunities to take their part and participate, contribute to achieving the global goals and feel um, themselves as a part of the united world, as we are feeling right now, I'm sure we all are. Our target number 18, known as target I, means that Developed countries are required to enhance capacity building support to developing countries, and this target is also made to help um, least developed countries to feel themselves a part of the united world and uh, take their part in uh, creating a better world so that they can all be uh, as developed as uh, all countries, European countries and other are in the United Nations. Target number 19, which is the last target, means that we and the countries need to build on existing initiatives to develop measurements of progress of sustainable development. And I also think that this is a very important target because we all need to observe our progress because, because without feedbacks, without remarks, we cannot achieve our goals and we need to observe on what we've done what we are going to do and what is happening right now in the world and in our countries and with our friendships and partnerships. Uh, as I have talked about uh, goal 17, I think that we all and our spectators are um, interested how can uh, how they can contribute to achieving, uh, achieving the global goals. And I think that there are several very important things that we as average citizens, as young people, as teachers, doctors, lawyers, and others can do to contribute to reaching, uh, achieving the sustainable development goals. And I think that first one is that we all need to spread the world. That we can um, so share on social media what is happening right now in the world. We can search different um, projects, different organizations, different co conferences and others. And we can share their own social media to spread our world, to um, tell others that uh, we are here, we are trying to uh, make our world better. The next one is that we can show our support because there are several NGOs and as known as non-governmental uh, organizations that are made to help less, least developed countries improve. And uh, one way to reach this goal is to support some local markets in fair trade and uh, help uh, developing countries to export and double their exports globally by uh, 2030. 
Support is also very important for us and for uh, least developed and developing countries, because when uh, countries and individuals feel that there are people who support them, they feel motivated, inspired, and they are more likely to contribute um, to reaching, uh, achieving the development goals and uh, um, the improving. Uh, and uh, one, uh, the last and very important thing to do is to stay informed. And I believe that this um, uh, meeting and other meetings that are organized and that have been organized and that are going to be held are very important in order to um, help people stay informed always, stay updated to the latest news. And I think that this is a very important uh, thing that we as average citizens can do to contribute to uh, achieving the global goals. And I believe that this um, meeting and uh, our partnerships and friendships is a very good proof that uh, this goal is working, because I believe that without goal 17, without our friendship, without this foundation and the university, we wouldn't be able to spread our world. We wouldn't be able to talk about uh, problems which are uh, common all around the world and which are uh, concerning to many people. And I think that this meeting is a very good um, example that uh, the world is uniting again, and we are doing our very best to achieve the goals. And I would like to thank you all for being here, for listening to me, and for uh, doing your best to contribute to achieving the global goals. And thank you for listening and good luck. Thank you. Big, big, big clap. Wow, really wonderful. I'm so proud of you, my dear. So proud of you. This, this was a very interesting information. Thank you so much. I'm really, really proud of you. You are, a, you are your future, really. Thank you, thank you. Please keep up a wonderful job. Please, please, because you are really very very uh important young thank you so much thank you thank you very much okay Anna. congratulations congratulations thank you uh i am very happy because uh, this presentation is very very important today thank you and now uh we, we have next uh, uh young uh very beautiful beautiful uh, a woman <laughs> from Croatia. Welcome, Lana. How are you? Okay. Good. Oh my God, very beautiful. <laughs> you are ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, your teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you see the slide? The presentation? Yes, yes, yes. Good. It's in the world. Okay. Uh, my name is Lana and I'm 13 years old. Uh, I live in Croatia and I will talk about uh, goal 16. Um, According to Abraham Maslow's theory, uh, basic human needs uh, are uh, the need for security and the basic satisfaction of uh, phys psychology's uh, needs. And only after they have uh, been met can or one strive to satisfy the more complex, such uh, as the need for self-realization uh, a society in which there is no uh, peace, uh, justice, and no strong institution aimed uh, at protecting uh, vulnerable groups, security of citizens, and the fight against corruption and crime uh, can uh, not ensure uh, the in individual, individual uh, primary uh, need for security 
and this takes steps uh, to meet uh, other goals uh, of sustainable development. Uh, goal uh, 16 uh, seeks uh, to promote uh, and strengthen uh, the development of peaceful, inclusive, and just uh, societies. The basic futures of peaceful societies uh, seem uh, simple but are, but are hard to come by. Peaceful societies uh, do not uh, participate uh, in violence against other groups have no civil civil uh, wars or internal uh, collective violence, uh, do not maintain uh, a permanent military police organization, uh, there is little or no deadly violence, certain uh, forms of structural violence by economic, political and uh, social structure. Within goal 16, 10 sub goals have uh, been defined reduce violence, protect children from abuse, uh, exploitation, trafficking, and violence, promote the rule uh, of law, and ensure uh, equal access to uh, justice, fight, fight organized uh, crime and illicit uh, financial flaws and weapons significantly uh, reduce corruption and bribery, develop the efficient uh, accountable and transparent institution, ensure a uh, responsible, inclusive and uh, representative de decision making strength for participation in global governance, provide a uh, universal legal identity, ensure public access to information and protect fundamental freedoms. Uh, promote peace, peaceful, inclusive, and uh, just societies. Peace, stability, human rights, and effective governance based on uh, the rule of law are essential, essential uh, catalysts uh, of sustainable development. Today, we live in a world where different differences are growing. Some region regions uh, enjoy constant peace, security, and prosperity, while others find themselves in a sem seemingly uh, uninterrupted uh, cycle of uh, conflict and violence. It is certain that uh, this situation is not an, uh, inevitable and must be resolved. Uh, how do we protect peace, justice, and strong institutions? Legal system in the world today as throughout uh, history are based on civil, customary and religion law. Out of uh, the people of some regions uh, live in peace and prosperity. prosperity. Uh, there are still many wars at the world level in insecurity uh, and far. And in, com in, in some uh, countries, uh, fair legal systems uh, have, be have not been established. Even uh, with a cursory uh, glance at daily news, we become aware of conflict and uh, viol violation of basic human rights. Uh, goal 16 is develop developed uh, to the most promotion of peaceful and in inclusive uh, societies for sustainable uh, development, uh, the provision of access to justice for all. The high level political forum shall uh, follow up of, on the implementation of sustainable development and should avoid overlap with existing structural bodies and, and, and entities in a cost effective manner. Justice and peace in the world institution are very fragile and their values need to be built in society with the help of political and economic, economic institution. State governments uh, needed to work of building these two institutions for a better and more human world. To support Ukraine, uh, Ukraine uh, many towns in Croatia get supported to Ukrainian people uh, because we know uh, what is war and its consequence. Thank you for your attention.
you. Thank you. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you so much. Thank you. You very much, my beautiful and smart girl from Croatia. Yes, my dear, you speak about a very Thank important you. issue today. Yes, you are rigged. Peace is very important today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please keep up also you a wonderful job. Keep shining, keep smiling. Thank you. Okay, and now we have next speaker from Romania, Constantine. He is very wonderful young students. Thank you so much. Also, they are Elmina invited Constantine. Thank you so much and uh, welcome, Constantine. I am you Thank you for yours. Please Thank you for your invitation yourself. and a uh, big hello from Romania. Hello from Georgia, from IAU, from Europe. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, please, me. yes, yes. Okay, I think uh, there is a problem with uh, the full screen, but uh, I will present uh, how it is. Uh, I, make, I made a presentation about uh, sustainable development goals, uh, about uh, clean energy. It's the goal number seven from uh, 17. Yes, uh, right. For, uh, you, for United, United Nations, by uh, uh, 2030, these goals uh, must be fulfilled. Okay, a short presentation by me, Stan Constantin Andre, second year student of the Faculty of Geography at the University of Bucharest. So, from the capital city of Romania. Okay, the content of my presentation, uh, I will start with a short history of, uh, of this goal. Uh, then I, I will present, I present you the main goal, uh, the main goal targets. After that, uh, I will speak about uh, the numbers of uh, clean energy, renewable energy, and uh, at the end, I will speak uh, about the uh, conclusions. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, short history. Uh, about about the, short, the short history of uh, of the goal number, number seven, uh, all be, all began in 2010, uh, when uh, from 2010 to 2018, the number of people that uh, use this electricity increases from 78% uh, to 90%. And now uh, there are uh, seven, 700, yeah, 700 million uh, people that uh, doesn't, don't have uh, energy, uh, clean energy. That, that, is, that is good uh, because uh, at the beginning of the, of, of the 2010 years, uh, the number were bigger. Uh, near to two billion people uh, don't have uh, energy, electricity, and now uh, just uh, seven hundred million uh, don't have uh, energy. The goal it's uh, is from for uh, two thousand thirty, and uh, UN hope that uh, all UN members uh, will fulfill the goal. Now we'll talk about uh, goal targets. By 2030, ensure universal access to affordable, reliable, and modern energy services. Uh, by 2030, 
increase substantially the share of renewable energy in the global energy mix. And by 2030, double the global rate of improvement in energy efficiency. And now I have a question for you. Do you think uh, these goal targets can be fulfilled by 2030? What do you think? Uh, can I say Ma yes, Marion? Thank you, thank you. Yes, um, thank you. I think that it's not impossible, but we need to work a lot to achieve this goal. And I think that as we all are here, we need uh, to work together in order to achieve this goal. And I think that in that in that case, if we work together, our this goal can be uh, possible by uh, 2030. Yeah, uh, very good answer, and uh, thank you for uh, your observation. Uh, yes, uh, if we will work uh, together, we are uh, near 200 uh, countries in the uh, United Nations. And uh, if 200 uh, countries work together, maybe uh, by the year of uh, 2030, we can fulfill the core targets. And uh, may God help us to uh, fulfill the targets. Okay, thank you for your answer and for your intervention. Uh, now we'll uh, talk about uh, numbers of uh, of this goal. And uh, we'll talk. Uh, well, the first to we'll talk about the impressive progress uh, electrification has slowed due to challenge of reaching uh, the hardest to reach. In 2010, we had uh, 1.2 billion people that uh, doesn't have uh, that don't have uh, electricity. In 2020, we have seven, uh, 730 30 million people that don't have uh, electricity. And by 2030, uh, UN said that uh, 679 million people uh, will not have uh, electricity. It's not good because uh, there are a lot of people. Uh, it's, uh, it's like the population of Europe, uh, six, 670 million people, 79 million people that don't have electricity by 2030, but uh, it's a progress uh, because, in, because uh, 10 years ago, we had uh, a double number, 1.2 billion people that uh, don't have electricity. We are speed up, we are speed up in the right direction, uh, I think. Okay, international financial flows to developing uh, countries for renewable uh, decline for a second year in a row. Uh, that, that's a pity because uh, a, lot, a lot of countries, a lot of countries, uh, I, I don't know why, but uh, refuse the renewable energy because because uh, right now the renewable energy, the solar energy or uh, the eolian energy, are uh, are not are not cheap are really expensive for uh, uh, people uh, from different countries like from african countries from uh, undeveloped undeveloped, undeveloped uh, countries and yeah but uh, we'll hope that uh, the financial flow will increase uh, by the year of 2030 Progress in energy efficiency needs to, step, to speed up to achieve global uh, climate, climate uh, goals. 2.4 billion uh, people still use the uh, inefficient and uh, polluting cooking systems. Uh, they, they use uh, the inefficient uh, and the polluting cooking systems because uh, uh, the renewable ones uh, are too expensive for them. And uh, there are countries that uh, people live with uh, $1, $1 uh, per day. 
that's a, that's a pity, thirty dollars per month. Uh, total re renewable energy consumption increased by a quarter between uh, 2010 and uh, 2019. That uh, that's a good good uh, news. But the share of renewable in total final uh, energy consumption is only 70.7 percent by year by uh, 2019. I hope uh, that in 2030, the, the number will increase, the, the, percent, the percent will increase from uh, 70.5.7 to maybe 30 or uh, 40%. And the numbers at uh, the level of uh, European Union, renewable energy in 2020, uh, let's see where Romania is so Romania has a 24.5% uh, 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 of, of gross final energy consumption. That's that's good because uh, in 2010 we had uh, like 10% uh, of renewable energy, and uh, our government uh, inv has invested uh, a lot a lot of money. Uh, for uh, renewable energy, uh, and uh, we we are ahead of uh, you because you have uh, to, uh, twenty twenty point one uh, percent of renewable energy. That's good for Romania. We are we are under you uh, ten years ago, and uh, now. Uh, we are below that, so that's good, I think. And the evolution of uh, renewable energy targets uh, from 2010 to 2020 and to 2030. European Union, uh, it's uh, it's very serious when uh, it's we are talking about uh, renewable energy because the European Union, especially European Commission, invest a lot of a lot of money in uh, renewable energy and clean energy and we can see we can see the numbers if you don't trust me trust the numbers uh 14 14 percent in uh, 2010 22 percent in 2020 and uh, we hope for, with the uh, repower eu plan we hope uh, uh, we will increase at uh, 45% and we will do it, do it because we want it. We want the renewable energy. So the conclusion, conclusions of uh, goal number seven from uh, the 17, um, 17 goals for UN by 2030, renewable energy sources have brought a range of total system-wide occupational health and safety impacts but a relatively narrow range of average risk to individual workers. And we can see the percent of uh, each uh, renewable energy, 6.6% uh, uh, of wind uh, energy, less than 1% of geothermal energy, 15.3% of uh, hydro energy, 37 energy of solar energy and 2.3% uh, uh, energy from uh, biomass. And uh, the rest of uh, percent are uh, the world uh, system energy. Okay, biography and uh, thank you for your attention and I hope you, you like it, the presentation. Really? Thank you very really? much. Thank you so much. Very important topic also. Thank you so much. This is a very important. This an amazing presentation. Thank you so much, Constantine. Thank you. And now, Thank Marianne Magellashvili, please uh, tell something. I think this presentation and also Lana, very important. Yes, indeed, I can agree with you, uh, because both presentation of Constantin's and Lana's were very informative and interesting. 
And I want to thank them for bearing in their minds that clean energy is very important as well as peace and justice. And I'm very glad to see two young people um, concerning and concerned about these uh, issues that are very important for our further development all around the world. And I am really glad to see you and get to know you and listen to your presentations. That was wonderful and amazing. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, I would like to see a joint presentation, your and Constantine together. Next conference. <laughs> this oh. is, I think, what wonderful. Would be nice. Would be nice. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, George Armenia. Oh my God, this is text wonderful. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. And now we have also next amazing speech speaker from Georgia, from school Anna Basisi. Thank you so much. Please, Georgi Katamadze, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello, yes, um, you are ready? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, okay, yes. go ahead. Wow. Uh, my uh, presentation is about hunger. Thank you, good luck. Thank you. Hunger is one of the main problems in the world, uh, and in small poor countries, many people are dying by hunger. Main problem of hunger is poorness, and in poor countries, there's no water, but a lot of uh, dry lands, and by this, um, it's impossible to make harvest. Yes. There is also people who are hungry, and this is so bad. Also, I make the top 10 of poor countries. For example, Burundi, South Sudan, Central Africa, Spobuction, Congo, Somalia, Niger, Mozambique, Malawi, Chad, and Madagascar. And also the third world's first countries. Uh, this is a poster, yes. Causes of hunger. Poor countries like Yemen and Somalia are destroyed by hunger. And many times, cause of hunger is civil wars, countries' economy, poorness, and hardship. Also in poor countries, uh, being in dry lands make problem about food. And many times there's also no water to watering seed and make food. So no, no water means no food. Yes, there are pictures of other people. And how solve the problem of hunger? Uh, large countries like Italy and Spain, France, USA, and other high economic countries should help poor countries by supply, supply uh, for example, food, money, develop and reconstruction buildings and help country government to solve problems. Also, other countries' government can establish their company and employ people. Uh, also, every night, uh, nearly one billion people go to bed uh, hungry. In, uh, this is uh, one of the posters. And uh, I'm talking about poorness in Georgia. Uh, poorness in Georgia, yes. Uh, in Georgia, many people are poor, but in modern cities, uh, for example, but you see, it doesn't look like that, and this is too bad. Hunger. Uh, one of the writers, uh, Clint Carson, also talking and writing about hunger and says that hunger made human animal. Uh, Clint Carson is one of the biggest writer, and uh, hunger is one of the pain of the world. So um, this is the, his poster about the book. And in modern time, our population, 8-9% are in hunger. Food problem uh, in uh, modern countries, modern, modern countries, yes. Uh, in National Geographic, calculated 3.5 million people are overweight uh, in all over the world. But in Africa and Asia, uh, this rate is normal. So uh, we can say that in um, high continents, so for example, America, uh, Europe, and uh, in other one, uh, there's so many people that are overweight. And uh, that means that Africa and Asia, uh, there's so many people that are hungry. Yes, uh, there's some people there. And uh, what can I do? For example, my family in front of uh, our house, uh, open cafe, piada telefoni, and our friends or relatives often get us. And we entertain them, and also we can make People happy and cozy. Yes, there's a picture of my cafe. And, uh, this is the end. Thank you for uh, attention.
Wow, your views this topic is really also very important. Thank you so much. This is a really, really amazing presentation. Thank you so much, your teacher, Ekaterina, also your director, Mrs. Ketavane de Beridze, your school. Thank you. Keep up a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. And next speaker also from Georgia, Georgi. Can you hear me? Yes. yes, thank you. Yes. Welcome. Introduce yourself, please. And uh, go ahead. Please stop share. Georgi, please stop share screen. Okay. I'm from um, Georgia and uh, I made my word about um, first. Uh, First, um, uh, first goal, uh, yes. poverty. Wow, very important. Hello, my name is Georg Kukoshuli, and I'm glad to speak about my country. I'm 12 years old. I'm from Georgia. I live in a small village called Duani, which is near the occupation border, um, which... Um, First of all, I'd say that my country attracts foreign visitors by its beautiful landscapes and uh, historical landmarks. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, living here isn't easy as it seems. Uh, sadly, there are plenty of poor families who have no income, and so they start finding jobs abroad. Uh, they become immigrants, and sometimes they come back very late. But uh, very often they don't return at all. And but uh, so I consider that uh, if we build in uh, new factories and strengthen the agriculture, it will lead to a creation of new jobs. Uh, moreover, it would be helpful for plenty of um, uh, poor families. To my mind, government must care of every single family and uh, provide them by well paid jobs. Uh, to avoid poverty and migrations. This is the way. Thank you. You are most welcome, my dear. You are most welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your topic also is very important. Mariam, Thanks. tell something. Uh, I really think that Georgi some um, intention was really good and it was really awesome that a person that young is concerned about this topic and I'm glad to see that our uh, next generation uh, is really uh, active and uh, is really concentrated on how to make the world a better place and I'm really good to get to know the theory. Yes, 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 thank you, thank you so much. Oh, amazing, amazing conference today. Thank you so much all. And next speaker, we have a so very wonderful and very, very beautiful young students from also school Anabasisi from Georgia, from Zestafoni, Ketata Nebiaridze. Please welcome. Ayayu stage is yours now. Hello, I'm Ketato from Georgia, and I want to share a screen. Yes, please share. Um, yes, but cannot see it. Yes, no, <clears throat> no. Okay, it needs time. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Um, hello, I'm Ketato from Georgia, and I would like to introduce you one of the most important uh, sustainable, one of the most important goals of sustainable development for me. 
Uh, okay, let's start what uh, goals are of sustainable development. Uh, as we know, there are 17 goals of sustainable development and all of them are very important for our universe. And uh, uh, these goals address the global challenges we face today, for example, poverty, inequality, prosperity, peace and justice, as well as climate and environment challenges and many others. In the Google, I found a picture of um, you know, all 17 goals of sustainable development and uh, which you can see on the screen. And these goals uh, are um, very closely related to each other. And it is also very important that all these goals will be met in 2017, 2013. Uh, it is right that uh, all 17 goals are equally important for our universe, but uh, today I choose the first goal of sustainable development, which is no poverty, because I think poverty is the global problem, uh, is the real problem, also a problem in my country too, and I decided to uh, talk about this problem. Uh, first of all, let's start. What is poverty? What means poverty? Uh, poverty is the deprivation of food, shelter, money, and clothing when the people can't satisfy their basic needs. Poverty can be simply understood as the lack of money, uh, clothes, food, or simply con good conditions of human life. Um, actually, in the Google, I found a types of poverty, poverty which, which I did not know that. So I want to share. There was three type of um, poverty. The first one is absolutely poverty, which um, refers to the state of several deprivation of basic human needs. The second one is uh, relative poverty. It is defined as um, economic inequality in location or um, sociality in which people live. And the third one is cycle poverty, refers to the type of poverty that may to cover a certain extent, but it is necessarily limited um, in time. And on the next page, uh, what is the point of goal? What means uh, poverty? Um, the point of goal is to end all forms of poverty in 2013. Poverty is the condition when a person suffers from financial difficulties and lack of resources to have the necessary conditions for life. And on a large scale, poverty, including um, lack of food, clothing, lack of education, healthy care service, or earning a low salary at work. And uh, why is there so much poverty in the world? Why is there poverty in this world? Uh, as I say, poverty is the world problem and it constantly increasing. Uh, today, the problem affect millions of people and every country has the minimum standard below which people fall into the category of poor, especially countries of um, tropical Africa and South Asia is a really big problem, poverty. And um, because of the family growth is unclaimed, but um, what um, is main cause of uh, poverty? Um, the main cause of my poverty has many dimensions, of course, but the main cause of poverty is unemployment, social distancing, as well as vulnerability of um, certain party of population from various, uh, various natural disasters, disease, and other causes these causes and also in this picture you can see poverty people which have no food also 30 uh, clean water or even home to live uh, and on the next uh, page i made a list of the main cause of um, poverty. Different countries have factors that play a big role in the presence of poverty. And in the list, there are causes, for example, lack of drinking water and food, poor living conditions, physical disabilities, defective health and education system, unemployment, sexual racial and other discriminations corruption and many others, which I did not write. I think if government or people deal with all these problems, I think people would live safely in this world. Also, there are a um, list of how to reduce poverty. Um, the first one is recreating supply of basic needs. 
increasing supply of food and other goods, increased supply of healthy care and education, water and energy alternatives, reversing brain drains, controlling overpopulation, increasing personal incomes, and many others. And on the last page, I made what can be done overcome poverty. Opportunities for social protection should be created for those citizens who they need help. The state should be able to employ all people because any person should have any income to live or have good conditions to live to live and um, also what can I do also this is my uh, request for you guys to do these things with me to interest in involving others in fight against poverty visit as part of education visits to raise awareness places that are vulnerability and need attention and assistance in, in, in exchange for birthday gifts, ask for money to be deposited by you on account of selected credibility organization. Um, I think this is hard, but um, if we want to end power, all forms of poverty, I think we should do it together. Uh, that was all my presentation. Uh, thanks for your attention. I hope you like it. And I think poverty is really important um, um problem that's why it is first goal and i think we should we can uh end the poverty together with you guys wow Thanks wow for Ket ketato your speech your presentation oh my god this is really really very inspiring i'm so proud of you thank you thank you million thanks big big clap my dear oh my god thank you thank you for everything. You, so <laughs> you are amazing, you. brilliant, Gil. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we have uh, next, also young, very beautiful, very interesting, very hardworking, very inspiring students from Georgia, Mariam Tsatoria. Thank you so much, dear Lali Pelodze, teacher, also our inspiring teacher. Welcome. And go ahead. Hello, my... okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, my new friend. I am Mario from Georgia. I am in the sixth grade. I am a club member. I'm very glad to meet you. My hobby is to take landscapes, petals, and show it in other kids. Presentation to stop climate uh, faint. Very interesting, yeah. The 17 global goals, uh, global, global goals on their own equate. My aim to win this goal. It uh, will be able to live in a better environment for people to like clean and they are environment how to natal big activities and hashtag to stop a uh, clean and uh, and nature. It is impor important to end UK and every all names about climate and change. The activities eco club green and environment uh, create. It my school the height of uh, uh, teacher nature, uh, teacher nature's illogical laws. Uh, we can't duck worry uh, uh, about uh, clean and major meeting. Kings in worry meeting. Plant your beautiful alley along schoolyard and part on the can. We want to mix and my beautiful and green flint flowers. Oh and you uh, uh, with uh, hands different, we are with brother, uh, brother Grinch and gay with another man. Serial, uh, serial holders or 
uh, photons and CU peripolarant and polypolling. Period at polling out park is is a uh, beautiful by house and we have flowers and duction of the whole portion is low open uh, so, uh, on in the uh, open like me see we need to show people yours daily make a contribution of of clean to use may uh, waste rural area a stop of my fast. Take a cure's ears. Yes, it is my house. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Your job is really very appreciated. We proud of you, my dear. We proud of you. And thank you so much, your teacher also. And keep up an excellent and important job. Thank you so much. Mariam, please tell something. And uh, uh, today's conference, uh, I think. Don't finish. Uh, I, yes, I was amazed by all the presentations and all the speakers, and especially the last one when I saw those photos and the work that they're doing in my country was really um, inspirational and motivational to really stop the climate change. And I think that involving young children into this is very important. And I want to thank all the teachers and all the organizers for this conference. And I really think that our Facebook spectators and all uh, members of this conference are going to leave this meeting uh, very uh, satisfied and motivated to um, do their best and participate in um, making the world better. And I think that this um, conference was very informative that it will change uh, the way we think and look at the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I am very, very happy today. Europe, well done today. Oh my God. I am very happy, speechless and excited today. When this project is very, very important today, I cite that an interesting and important day away us. And this is true. Europe rocked today. It was a very, very excellent, inspiring, very informative session. Thank you to all students for providing excellent information. Today we heard the voice of European young people. It was an amazing really. We will meet soon with new students together. Many thanks to all the teachers who prepared the students. Many thanks dear Ermina. Many thanks to IIU team. Million thanks to the founder, Mr. Peyush Pandit. IIU is a change. IIU is a really, really revolution. Oh my God, thank you so much. Bye. Thank you all. <laughs>